My name is Kiki Dewar. I'm with Students and Youth for a New America, and I wanted to read a passage from City Builders and Vandals in Our Age. It's a new book by Caleb Maupin that I really enjoy. There's this one section where he talks about the origins of the Bolshevik movement that I think is really cool. He says, the Bolshevik movement, despite espousing a strictly materialist and Marxist perspective, carried with it many features from Russia's cultural and spiritual past. With his groundbreaking work, What is to be Done, Vladimir Lenin rejected the liberal democratic model for political parties. The vanguard organization Lenin created was a kind of secret society made up of those who gave the whole of their lives to be the tribune of the people. Instead of putting forward a Marxist program, the party engaged in agitation, stirring up the masses to gather confrontation while reserving ideology, propaganda, for the advanced and recruitable. The Bolshevik movement was founded in exile by Russian intellectuals and middle-class radicals who sought to mobilize the industrial working class to topple the czarist autocracy and replace it with a socialist-oriented state. Like Rosa Luxemburg, Eugene Debs, and others, the Bolsheviks opposed the First World War and denounced the various socialist parties that supported the imperialist bloodbath. Lenin described the Second International and its member parties as a stinking corpse. This part is the part I find really cool. The name Bolshevik literally means majority group. The name was selected after the majority of those who met with Lenin in 1903 agreed to form his party of a new type, while the minority of those in the root, Mensheviks, rejected the plan. However, most of the people who eventually fought in the streets to bring the Bolsheviks to power were probably not aware of this meeting and the origins of the name. To the average Russian worker, Bolshevism essentially came across as majoritarianism. The Russian Social Democratic Labor Party, Bolshevik, in their call for a revolutionary dictatorship of the workers and peasants, fought for the majority of Russia's people against the minority of wealthy factory owners, landlords, and the Tsarist autocracy. And that is the kind of thinking that we need for our new age.